Hey, wake up. You gonna sleep right through your first night on the job? Showtime. Party's just getting started. William Wishman, this little prick. The only kid to ever get expelled three times from MIT. How'd he keep getting back in? Two words, daddy endowments. Hey, don't bump that thing into my fucking car. It's coming out of your paycheck, pal. Louis Abernicki. Three years ago, he ran a red light, got hit by a semi, T-boned. He had a blood alcohol level of 0.09, thus the chair, and a record. He's got a squeaky wheel. How about we observe the speed limit just for once? For fun, OK? All right, Grandma. There he is. This one, this is Randy Fraker. Even at his age, he's a renowned expert on astrophysics. The fuck are they building in there, a spaceship? It was his voice on the phone call. Phone call? What phone call? The phone call is the reason we're out here freezing our asses off tonight. You gonna tell me about it? Yeah, but here comes our undercover agent. None of this changes the fact that today is our anniversary and you forgot. I think it's a, a huge day and you're gonna ruin it because of some girly bullshit. It is a huge day, I know. Can't win here. Literally cannot win. You don't look nervous. One small step for me, one giant leap, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Oh, trouble in paradise. Yeah. Fuck you, Bill. Shit. He's looking right at us. Turn away. Come on. It's the lighthouse coming. Sure about this, guys? Yeah. Let's do it. After you, sweetheart. Wanna hold my hand, pumpkin? Above your pay grade, cupcake. God, Bill, you're such a dick. Yeah. He's not gonna be the one to spend hours a mile underground with him. That's a good point. What are you, five? Don't fuck with me, I'm on edge. Ooh. Welcome to Project 88. Somebody stop it from saying that. That's how Mr. Landau likes it. And he writes the checks. Locker right next to mine, huh? Get over. What's that smell? $50 million facility, and it still smells like ass. Oh, and not just any ass, but Randy's rotten ass. <laughs> Here he comes, Mr. Landau, the boss, mystery man. We've got nothing on him before 2007. I mean, nothing. Since then, he's created six corporations and been investigated by the SEC nine times. Sir, I'm gonna send one of the boys down with you. Van Lang! Why me? Because I don't wanna have to shove those fucking bubbles up your ass. Go. I just quit smoking. And I hate chewing gum. I did not. All right, this phone call's the reason we're here. Let's hear it. Okay. Project 880 must be canceled. If you come, we're all gonna die. What the 
House Project 880. The only thing our undercover's given us so far is some kind of particle accelerator. How, how's that it? It's not possible. Sometimes you send a young rookie deep undercover and you know, they drink the cherry Kool-Aid. Let me get this straight. Not even the NSA knows what these geniuses are building there? I still say we should be using Hicksfield. Somebody up his dosage, please. This whole thing in me kind of shot from a low angle. I guess so. Oh, fuck you, Bill. Hey, just try to hold it up a little bit, like a like you were a normal person. Yeah, it'd be great. <laughs> Jim, you in here getting one of those secret phone calls of yours? You think we're ready for a human test subject? Define human. That's not nice. It's funny, but it's not nice. Listen, about this whole anniversary thing. Wait, that wasn't there last night. Right? You think somebody was in here? Elevator descending. Come on. Can't keep the boss waiting. Welcome to Project 880. Sir, we're jacking to the grid. Just waiting on your go-ahead. Time waits for no man. It's a little joke. Sir, once we do this... It's the point of no return. The blackout will be citywide. What blackout? Wait, are you blowing bubbles? What blackout? We should fix the alarm system. Leave it, it's aligned. Jesus. Time to look busy. What the fuck is that? Hey, get back. No, no. The other one. Perfect. This is the night we've been working toward for the last two years. As we know, our experiment will require massive amounts of power. Getting that power will attract unwanted attention from our friends at the NSA, amongst others. What I'm saying is do your best work. We will succeed. Rising. What in the fuck happened? Did you unplug something? No. Oh. It actually worked. What did you expect? Fires, explosions, chaos, death. The clock is ticking. Make your time count. I'm ready. <clears throat> you don't look ready. <laughs> is that one of those, like, it's my last night parties? <clears throat> Go by your standards. A Friday. Good. Change of plan. Wait, what? Me? What? 
Him? Come on. No. Land out. Come on. Yes, sir. The power's out for 40 blocks. Call your guys. I need a tactical team here ASAP. I'm on it. before I get sucked up into a black hole or turn up fossilized in dinosaur shit. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. The others are having a meeting. Bill's upset. He agreed that he would go first. Yeah, so did I. I had no idea Landau was gonna pull this shit. You can't just throw this in at the last minute. Yeah, I mean, seriously, he's been training this for Landau. Long with all time. due respect, just listen to the guy. He yeah. deserves to at least go first. Seriously. Why, Jim? It's fucking bullshit. You can't just take this away from me. Please. I have made my decision. <sighs> he's glorified tech support. No. What he is is the most talented computer engineer at MIT. No, he's a fucking scholarship kid. He's just here to fill some kind of quota. You know, this was my dad's. No. This old thing? Guy never had more than a couple of fives in it. Just kept it to remind myself never to be like him. <laughs> this is you? Only place he ever took me. Next horse and the next race was always a sure thing. Last time I saw him, before he died, I told him that I was going to get into MIT. I said, you can bet on it. <laughs> you know what he said to me? He looked me straight in the eyes and he goes, Nobody would give me the odds. Jim's not one of us. He never was. It's true. And he's a bit of a dick. But clearly he's not the most liked or valuable member of this team. So therefore, he's expendable. Now that's why I pounded keyboards every night till my fingers bled. Got a scholarship to MIT, got to the top of my class, got in front of Landau, got here on Project 880. I, I can't pass up an opportunity to be the world's first time traveler. I know. Okay. Calibrating for one hour. Any uh, last words? I'm about to start. Let's go. Right, initializing ion generator. Oh. Did we expect that? No, the vortex is collapsing. It'll tear us apart. No, no, it's stabilizing. I got it. What the hell is that? Quark glue on. What? You asked.
Jim, you ready? Where's he going? Not where. When? <laughs> Sorry. Always wanted to say that. Forward. It'll be midnight exactly. Okay? Remember, keep your arms and legs inside the vortex. Anything outside the field, it ain't going anywhere. When you get there, just wait. All right? By definition, we'll catch up to you. All right? I'll see you in one hour, okay? Yeah. Hey, Jim, remember it's a black hole. If anything goes wrong, you will literally disappear up your own ass. Look, Jim.
We did it! We did it! Jim? Why did you come back? We said don't come back. What the fuck is going on? Jim, what happened? Is that my camera? Guys? Bad news. Tactical team's here. Good. All right. Let's go, boys. Go, go, go. Everybody down. Everybody down. Go, down. go, down. Get down. down. Get down. Go, go, go down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Jim, baby, uh, you start at the beginning, okay? What happened? Uh, uh, the lab, it was, uh, it was a mess. It was empty. I, I couldn't find any of you. Oh, God, it was like somebody's pounding on my head with a hammer. Okay, your nose is bleeding. I'm gonna get something. I see enough blood for one night. Oh, well, tell us what happened. I saw a body. It was missing his head. Who? Who was it? Did I mention the missing head part? Okay, so what happened next? I heard a scream. It was you. I ran as fast as I could, but uh, you were being pulled into an elevator. By who? I, I just saw black gloves. I couldn't, I couldn't see who it was. That's all I saw. Fuck. And then I, uh, I tripped over Lewis. Wait, what? You were on the floor dying, and you gave me this camera. Dying? How? Look, you just said that we kept filming, so I guess we kept filming, okay? Great, so we can just check all this out on the camera? It just got taken through a rift in space and time. I'm pretty sure we voided the damn warranty. And it's got blood on it. That's your blood? Fuck. That's just great. I'll do my best. Good. But until then, no footage, no proof. Look, I'm not making this up, you dick. <laughs> okay. So then tell me this. Why didn't you just stick around and find out what was going on before you came back and started scaring everybody? Because the lab was about to explode. Somebody set the lab to self-destruct. Oh, right. We don't have a self-destruct. No, actually, we do. Why do we have a self-destruct? The machine belongs to all of us. That was the deal. Now, we all know that what we've built is far too powerful to fall into the hands of the wrong persons, especially the government. I don't believe this crap. What the fuck? I need to talk to you outside. Now, you can't repeat this to anyone, but I think that we might have been infiltrated by the NSA. It's Jim, right? That's why you sent him instead. That's why he's so expendable. But he also could be telling the truth. Why don't you let me go forward and find out? Look, we are all dead at midnight. Wow. That was the worst spoiler alert ever. Look, that means we just have less than an hour to get the hell out of here. Time displacement commencing. What? Let's do this Landau. Speed it up, Landau. Mr. Amanda, stop! Hey, easy, what are you doing? Easy, easy. I'm going forward to check it out. What? Look, look, I'm telling you the truth. 
I'm not gonna sit around here for an hour to find out. By the time you get there, it'll all be over. No. I'm gonna arrive at 11.50, 10 minutes before you did. All right, smartass. I hope you bring in a gun because there's gonna be somebody there fucking killing us. All right, bring a gun. You. Smug bastard. Picked the wrong week to quit smoking. You're making a mistake. Guess for luck. Bite me, Bill. Hit it. Don't do this. Ready? Ready? Okay, back to plan A. Let's get the fuck out of here. Wait, what if William's plan actually works? No, we won't know what he manages to do for another 40 minutes. By then, it might be too late. Wait, wait. I think he's coming back. What is that? What is it? What the fuck? What is that? What is it? Oh, 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 oh. That's it. Don't get the fuck out of here. Elevator not responding. Fuck! The elevator runs on the power from the warehouse. No, no, no. Game over, man. Game over! Whoa, what's wrong? The warehouse in the city that right now has no power? But you geniuses did that! No, we know that it gets fixed, okay? I saw it. But too late. By then, we're dead. Fuck. Security office! They have a phone! Bill's head was some kind of trophy. The killer is taunting us. The phones are dead. Shit. The internet's out, too. It was all working before. Who are we gonna call, anyway? Hello, 911. We're in a top secret lab under the city doing experiments with time travel. Oh, and by the way, there's gonna be a bunch of murders. Look, that's him, that's him. That's him on the CCTV. So the killer cut the lines. When was this? 11 minutes ago. No, no, we were, we were all in the lab. No, we weren't. Mr. Lando left right before. Are you trying to accuse me? Him. He wasn't there either. Hey, fuck you, man. You want to hey, lose hey, both hey, your relax, arms, too? Relax, relax. He's not accusing you, okay? No, actually, I kind of was. Guys, guys. Nobody but us is down here. So whoever the killer is, it has to be one of us. Shit. Well, it isn't me. I hardly know you fucking people. Yeah, but you know what we've built down here. You know what it might be worth. The only reason I'm down here is because I was blowing bubbles. All right. Okay, so who's Mr. Bubbles? And who put him in charge? You want a fucking piece of me? Hey, 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 stop it! We have a time machine! Stop it! We have a time machine. None of this has to happen, okay? Somebody goes back, and they warn us not to come. So whoever the killer is, he doesn't get to kill anybody. Not today. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. We can't do that. We'll cause a paradox. Remember when Lewis said all he wanted to do was go back and stop himself drunk driving that night? Only reason I joined this project in the first place. Remember what we told him? That he'd cause a temporal paradox. Okay. Now try, you know, fucking English. He'd go back to stop the accident from happening. And so the accident would have never have happened, and he would have never have gone back. And then, well, then he's Schrodinger's cat. Crippled and not crippled at the same time, except not that. Is that the best you can do? Look, this stuff is really fucking hard, okay? So 
what happens if we make a pair of thingy? You're not listening. We can't. Why not? Let me put this into words you'll understand. Fuck you, man. But yeah. Okay, do that. It's fate. You can't fight fate. We don't have a choice. If we don't, we're all dead. So I say screw fate, let's not die. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. I'm getting something. I think I'm getting something from the SM card from the camera. This is ridiculous. Yeah, it's a fucking asshole, and I can't believe you just put throwing him in like that. Yeah, sorry, it's kind of yeah. in and out. If you land on this, please consider the Here, just Can we fast forward or something? You know, we, were, we don't need to see stuff that already happened. Let's get to the future point. Dude, I'm trying. The camera is fucked up. Now, what he is, is the most talented computer engineer at MIT. Jim's not one of us. He never was. It's true. And he's a bit of a dick. Sorry, it's, a, it's just pure pressure, really. Yeah. What the fuck do you mean there? What's down there? Huh? How? They say the kids are underground. We gotta get down there. There's no power to the elevator. So, find someone to fix it. Now. Hey, go forward to the next one. I'm doing my best, okay? What he is, is a fucking scholarship kid. He's there to fill a quota. I fucking hate that guy. Dude, he just got his head chopped off. Nope. Technically, he didn't. Not yet. Oh, fuck. Now my head hurts. <clears throat> Tell me about it. <clears throat> Oh, I think you're bleeding again. I haven't felt right since I got back. Something's wrong. According to the future me? Yeah. We never even talked about what we were going to do with the machine. All we cared about was can we build it. We all fixated on the could and never considered the should. In less than an hour from now, we're dead. Look, it hasn't happened yet which means it doesn't have to happen, okay? We can't change anything. We can't. Enough. This is not helping. According to Jim, the elevator comes back online, right? Yeah, from what I saw. Right, well, I'm gonna go check to see if it already has. Now he's actually out there, and he started killing people. Shit. That sounds bad. Yeah, that sounds bad. What sounds bad? Something I said. Or will say. Will you stop watching it? We're just torturing ourselves, man. Hey, can we just shut up about paradoxes and fate, and can we just send someone back to save us, please? Yeah. Guys. You should see this.
What are we doing? Shit. Shit, that's me. You're dead. Randy. Or you will be. So now what do you think about all the unchangeable fate stuff? Send me back. Fuck that. Send me back. Oh, fuck. Okay. Remember, the phone in the security office will still be connected. Okay? It's not gonna work, you know? If it did, we wouldn't be here. You have to try. You got this. Randy, I never thought I'd say this. Call me. Sure. I hear you guys have a power problem. Let me take a look, see. Shit cakes. A bunch of circuits got fried up. It's gonna take a while. That's not gonna work for me. We've got one of ours down there. We've gotta get down there now. I'm gonna have to dress that. So what happened? Oh, you know, meet my girlfriend, the super cop. I'm not a cop. I'm an NSA agent. And I'm sorry, okay? Wait, what? She's a fucking spy. Literally. Don't say it like that. How do you want me to say it? Are we gonna get arrested? Ask her. Are, are we gonna get arrested? You know what, we got bigger problems. Oh yeah. Shit. Double shit. He's actually out there. And he started killing people now. I'm guessing you would have mentioned it by now, but you didn't happen to see who it was. Well, no one else has come down here, so it has to be one of us. Where's Lynn now? I can't believe it's Mr. Lynn now. 
guess you can't trust anybody these days. Really, Jim? You know, do you have to film everything? According to the future me? Yeah. Wow. I can't believe I actually end up saying that. What? No, nothing. He said he'd be here. Fuck it, let's go check his locker. Uh, this thing? Ah, oh, perfect. Boys, smell terrible. What is that smell? Uh, Randy noticed it this morning. Yes. Made us briefcase. Brilliant. I think it's coming from there. <sighs> yes, it is. That means when he was smelling that bad smell this morning, he was smelling it himself. What's taking this guy so long? How's it going? That ain't your question? He's going to keep working on it. You OK? Look how you liked him. Look, you can stop with the whole girlfriend act, OK? Your cover's blown. We should see what's on there. No, I still can't believe it. The NSA paying you to have sex with me. It's not like that, all right? You don't? What about that crazy night we had in Catalina? Yes, you know, that sir. whole safe hey, word guys, thing? I'm in the room. OK, none of that was part of the job. Look, it was my first assignment. I... OK, so you just jump in bed with one of the suspects? This was my whole life for two years. What was I supposed to do about sex? Still in the room. FYI. I feel so special. <laughs> this seems like company names. Stock prices. Oh, shit. Wait, dates? What was the first dates? June 13, 2007. 2007. OK, what are the last dates? August 20th, 2029. Wow. <laughs> Explains all the breakthroughs you brought to the project. Yeah, and I thought he was just smart. <laughs> now, the only way a time machine could be built is if someone from a future in which one had been built used it to come back and build one. Yeah. What are you guys talking about? Landau. He's from the fucking future. It's like having a winning lottery ticket every day for the next 15 years. So. Landau went back to 2007 and started generating all the cash to fund this, all of this. Then he had us build the precursor to the machine that he uses in 2029. Because otherwise, time travel wouldn't exist in the future. Therefore, he couldn't be here. But why does he want to kill us? Well, he can't have anybody know that time travel exists now. He has to kill us. You gotta admit, it's pretty brilliant. Yeah. 
But now we gotta find him. And kill him. Before he kills us. Oh, I think we'll find him. Um, this is like time traveling via television. Yep, server form. This is so fucking weird. Now we found him because we saw we found him. So? Let's go get him. All right. I'll uh, tip this one out. A little wheelchair humor. Okay. Was it true? What you said before? Was it just about sex for you? Seriously, Jim, you want to have this conversation now? Hey, you need to tell me. Hey, just tell me, okay? You at least owe me that. No. With you, everything changed. I lost sight of what I was supposed to be doing. This is my first assignment, and I got lost in it with you. Okay? That's the truth. I know, I know I never met your family. Why your mom would call all the time and never come over. That wasn't my mom. That was my NSA contact, my mentor. She recruited me out of my first year at MIT, trained me, taught me everything I know, and I lied to her too, to the NSA. Oh, that's okay then. My mentor always said, when you go undercover, don't drink the cherry Kool-Aid. And with you, I did. I love your cherry. You know, all those phone calls you were getting so paranoid about? Yeah. That was me just trying to plan an anniversary party for us. <laughs> Shit. Now I kind of wish you were cheating on me. Actually, it was more like a uh, anniversary slash holy crap with disinfinite time travel party. <laughs> <laughs> So great. My nose is bleeding again. I haven't felt right since I got back. No! No, this Who are you? 
I know what you're thinking. I found the knife. The killer is in here. It wasn't me. Where are you going? Fuck no. Guys! Guys! Ooh. Yep, server farm. This is so fucking weird. Yeah, we found him, because we saw we found him. I knew you were going to say that. It's exactly what's on the tape. You know, we should find something to tie him up. I'm on it. We can't change anything. Not me. Shut up. No. Gail, please. It wasn't me. It's it, it's not him. Listen! It's not him! He killed Randy and the security guard. He was gonna kill us all. No, it's not me. I followed the killer. I found the knife because he must have dropped it. Stop lying! <gasps> Jim! Kicking him is not going to help us. This is not one of your NSA deals, Gail. Your NSA? Yeah. Turns out. All this time I thought it was you. You're already my least favorite person. Don't fucking push it. Jim, just let me talk to him. He's not under arrest. This is the asshole that wanted to fucking kill us, Gail. No, I'm not the killer. Stop doing that! He's not the killer! He tried to kill us all, Lewis! No, he didn't! Yes, he did! Look around, okay? I know that I'm not the killer. It's not you, it's not Gail, so it must be him! You're so sure we're the only ones down here. What if you're wrong? No, I am not wrong. There is nobody else in here. I think there must be. There can't be. He has a point. If it's not one of us, what if there's someone else down here? The killer has got to be Lynn. I keep on trying to tell you, he's not the killer! It's not me. Shut up! I saw him on the tape! What? You know the tape that's full of everything that haven't happened yet? Yeah. I saw Mr. Lando running. He's not the killer! Thank you. How do you know? Because I saw the killer too. So? Who is it, Louis? I don't know. What? I couldn't see his face. Great. But it's not him. I'll show you. Gail, please go see what he's talking about, or I'm gonna stay here and watch this asshole. Don't hurt him anymore. Don't do this, you mean? <laughs> no kicking. Got it. You can keep kicking me, but it's not going to make you right. Yeah, but it makes me feel better, so. Oh, and by the way, we found this. OK, you're not going to like seeing this. Okay. Wait, who's filming this? Presently, me. I, I think. Okay. I was the one who gave Jim the camera. Right. Okay. Uh, see, the next part's a doozy. So there. That's Lando. Now tell me about 2029. The world is a fucked up place. What happened to your accent? There is no accent. I was born here. <laughs> In fact, this morning I watched my mother take me to school. Fuck all that shit. Where did you get this disc? The only thing I really know is the name Max Devlin. Max Devlin? OK, who the hell is Max Devlin? No one knows who he is. All we know is that he's like a ghost. 
that haunts the stock exchange. And he's got more money than you can ever imagine. I can imagine a hell of a lot right now, so please. He works through a network of Wall Street traders. No one knows who they're working for. All they know is that they make trades and they win big every time. They never lose. Because of the disc. That was his secret. And I found it. How? I don't know. All these clues, you know, they were left for me like, like breadcrumbs. Almost like he wanted me to find it. Don't get upset. See, that's you, and that's the killer. Come on. Damn it, I can't see his face. It's almost like he knows the camera is there. Those clues led me to a small town in Arizona called Destiny. I guess that was Devlin's idea of a joke. Okay. So what's the joke? I discovered a top secret facility underground. And it was a time machine. Like ours? No. This one actually worked. Ours works? No. He perfected it. His machine was advanced, and it didn't cause any brain damage. Wait. What? I'm sorry. I... The nosebleeds, the dizziness. Thought you would have figured that out. Why didn't you fucking warn me? I couldn't. I couldn't because the machine that we are building now is the basis of the one that Devlin builds in 2029. Except he perfects it. So we had to build it. If it wasn't built, I couldn't be here right now. Well, if Landau's not the killer, he, he's still out there. Yeah, but right now. Doing what? So I went to Destiny. I broke into Max Devlin's facility. I had the disc, and that's when I thought I knew who Devlin really was. And it was me. Wait, what? I realized I could go back in time. I could amass a fortune. I could build a time machine just like he did, except it would be me. I could take over his life. And then I thought, maybe, Maybe it was me all along. Fuck. All these paradoxes that make my fucking head hurt. That's not the reason why your head hurts. Oh, yeah. Thanks for reminding me. Once the killing started, I knew I was wrong. So if we find out who the real killer is, we're gonna find Max Devlin. No, you're lying. You're the only one who knew about that disc. Only you had a motive. Jim, it's not him. I just watched the tape. He's not the killer. Self-destruct sequence activated. I told you, there is somebody else in the building. Jim, you're gonna have to go to the lab. You're gonna have to try and override it. How much time do I have? 25 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna get Lewis. Okay, you too. Be safe. Yeah. Guys, you can't leave me in! Come on, come on. Fuck. I should know this. Okay, Lewis. Come on. It's time to go. Come on. There's no point running. Don't you get it? What? We're trapped. In a castle loop. Okay, we don't know that, Lewis. Okay, so we have to try. All right, we have to go. Come on. It's all on the tape. The tape is like a fucking prophecy. We don't. We don't know that, all right? So we have to fight, we have to try. Lewis, come on. There's nothing we can do. We can't change our fate. Lewis.
come on, come on, come on. No, 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 please, please, we can work together. No, listen to me, listen to me, man. We can work. No, 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 I got a plan. No, please, please, please. When the time comes, press the red button. to go back to that night, stop myself from getting into that fucking car. told me to come and press the red button, so... What? That's what I'm gonna do. What are you talking about? He told me to press the red button, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay? I don't... Back up. Back up! Please don't shoot. I'm just doing what he told Bodies everywhere. Shoot him, Bill. No. Bill. No, look. You're lying, Bill. Randy is dead. Okay, the new security guard is dead. This asshole killed him. No, no, no. He killed. He killed him. He's the one. He killed him, Bill. Bill, shoot him. We no, have we no know. idea what happens to you. Your head comes back. Just your head. No. You're dead. Bill, shoot him. <laughs> Drop my gun, okay? I'm gonna drop my gun. No, 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 Bill, shoot him. He's trying to confuse you. Look, I know your mind feels like it went through a blender, but it's because of the machine, okay? That you've got brain damage. This no. motherfucker, he lied to us. No, no, Bill. He has no accent. No, what are you talking about? Don't listen Look, to him. I'm not the killer. I'm gonna drop the gun, okay? Bill? I'm Bill? not the killer, Please. man. He is. Right before you came, he was trying to kill me. Bill? It's him. 
Shoot him. But you, you said that there was everyone was dead. There was bodies. You're a liar. There's gonna be yours included. You're a liar. No, 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 Bill, Bill. You heard that, right? He's trying to, he's trying to threaten you. He's trying to threaten you. Shut the fuck up. Shoot him, Bill. Shoot him. Press the red button. What, what the fuck are you talking about? You're him. You're Max Devlin. No. <laughs> you're gonna kill us all, and you're gonna take the disc. Oh, you're going to become Max Devlin. I love you. Don't you understand? I have it all figured out, okay? I did this for our future. Don't you understand? You're insane. I'm not a killer. No, you are going to kill us all. I'm not a killer. Not quite. But give it time. What, what the hell is going on? We can work this out. We can, we can work this out. I've been working for you the whole time. I just didn't know it. There's no way that I could have known about the project in, in Destiny, right? Okay. There's no way I could have gotten that disc. I did exactly what you needed me to do, okay? You knew that, okay? You, you're going to remember this, okay? This is 2029. You're going to remember this. Don't you see that, okay? I've been your pawn. Whatever you needed me to do, I'll do. I'll do it. Good. And I guess I'll see you later. No! Jim. Jim, please, you don't have to. You don't have to do this. Do what? I, I haven't done anything. Um, you just beheaded Bill. Oh, shit. This is my head. Sure. Make ourselves feel better. Blame the brain damage. Who knows? Maybe it really is to blame. And here goes nothing. It's working. We've got power. I think it's gonna hold. <laughs> what did you do? Why? I went back and did what I had to do. First, I killed Randy before he could warn any of us not to come. Then I killed that new security guard, whatever his name was. 
Ben, why? Nice of you to remember, but we know you're gonna forget. What? Keep up. Okay, don't make me feel stupid. Don't listen to him, Jim. You're a good person. Thank you, but shut up. Why would I? We. I. Why would I kill anybody? You know why. You saw the tape. All those rich assholes saying all those things about us. You got mad. No, not, not enough to kill people. And then we found out that the woman that we love has been lying to us this whole time, tricking us, trying to trap us. I know we love her, but we don't even know her real name. You know me, Jim, okay? I know you. You were not a killer. Then you saw what was on Landau's disc. What dear old dad would have killed for. A real sure thing. But, but I never... Yes, you did. You can't lie to me. You can't lie to yourself. Okay, you started to think about all that money and power. And all you had to do was go back and kill a few people. I can't kill people. I can't, but this is your chance. Okay, this is why you pounded keyboards every night until your fingers bled. Why you got a scholarship to MIT, got to the top of your class, got in front of Landau, got on Project 880. <laughs> I, Tell him you uh, won't do it, Jim. You're a good person, you can't. Shut the fuck up! Whoever you are, you know what you have to do. Okay, killing Randy will be the hardest, but it gets easier. Killing Landau, you'll almost enjoy. Jim, please listen to me. He doesn't have a choice. I didn't have a choice. You have a choice. Just don't do what he says. He doesn't have a choice, and he sure as fuck doesn't have the time for this. Another one of us is coming in a minute, okay? He can't see us. Jim, I'm begging you. Him or me? You're a murdering asshole! Then so is he. Keep up. Not ever. He loves me. He's a good person. He's still a good person. Kill. I don't know. They're our friends, Jim. They're your friends. Nope. They hated you. Just saying. Please, I just need to think. Please. Please don't do this. You. Blah, blah, blah. You're such an asshole. Well, I'm you, so I'm not doing it. But we both know that you will. I'm not going back. I know that you do, because I've already been in this conversation as you. No, this can't be happening. Don't you see? You have no choice. Why? Why do I have to kill people? Because I already did! I'm sorry. We can't change it. Now, quick, give me the disc. I really wanted to hold on to it. You are holding on to it. I hid this stuff in here just for you. Get dressed. Gotta look the part. She's gotta come with me. Don't hurt her. The elevator's coming down soon. I know. I remember. Good. Good. Now you're getting it. Hide. He can't see you. Get, Get up! Everything that happened has got to happen again. I'll go. Drake, Vasquez with me. No, I put her down there. It's my job to get her back.
self-destruct in four minutes. This whole place is gonna blow! I give you the NSA. Welcome to Project A. I had no choice. It was my destiny. I think so. Bitch! 
come and get it. We can still make this work, can we? NSA. You're the undercover agent, right? Yes. Special Agent Maxine Devlin. Down there's a mess. The blast took out everything. No one else made it, that's for sure. Still don't know what the hell happened down there. She's the only one who can tell us. We just have to give it time. <laughs> 